taking the job in the Holy City. And we are underway the 2020-2021 season. And South Carolina drops in the first bucket. They take the early lead two to nothing. Your starters on the floor in white for the Gamecocks. Cook, Henderson, Boston, Beal, and Victoria Sexton for the College of Charleston, the visiting Cougars. They're going with Madison Taylor, Taylor Williams, Aaron Eady, Tyler Collins, and true freshman from Bladensburg, Maryland, number five, Tyler Gray. Boston comes away with it for South Carolina. They push it up ahead and a turnover, that's not what Don Staley wants to see early going, Khadijah. Uh, not early, but you, it's, it's going to be interesting to see the South Carolina Gamecocks this year without Ty Harris and um, Kiki Herbert here again and see how they're, you know, control the game and system. You know, you've seen Destiny Henderson and Zaya Cook, how they can score and how they can defend, but you didn't really have to do too much when you had a point guard like Ty Harris. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they control the game, how they get into their offense, and how they get all these weapons under control. Here is South Carolina on the move with Henderson. Little stop and go for Henderson, and she drops it in as South Carolina takes the lead four to nothing. Early going, just underway. You may see things a lot different this season here in Columbia and around the SEC and in college basketball in general. South Carolina, they have flipped the court, so to speak, as the teams are bottom of your screen when they used to be top of your screen and you see the the virtual sellout here at the Colonial Life Arena the cutouts the cardboard cutouts that fans have purchased, purchased. Yeah, yeah and they will keep that spot all season long what a great idea by the South Carolina marketing department yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's going to be very different for the uh, both te all teams um, at home games, but definitely the South Carolina Gamecocks, you know, leading attendance in the NCAA uh, for maybe two or three years in a row, going from 14,000 fans to maybe none. Um, so, you know, I think it's going to be a little different, but it's also, you know, just I'm, I'm sure they're happy to just to be back playing basketball, Birch. Victoria Saxton drops both free throws in. It was Madison Taylor, the junior from Raleigh, North Carolina, called with the foul for College of Charleston. Charleston basketball, 821 remaining here in the first, down six to nothing. They'll launch a three, missing left side. Fighting for it is Zaya Cook for South Carolina. In contention with Aaron Eady. Check that, that was Madison Taylor. College of Charleston, 13 wins a season ago, 17 losses. They picked up six wins compared to 12 losses in the Colonial Athletic. Yeah, they're, they're getting better uh, each season. They came up a little bit from the past season. So uh, the coach, you know, just excited seeing her girls getting getting better um, each year. There is second season head coach Robin Harmony. She was the CUSA Coach of the Year. It's one of her many accolades and boy was she a player in her day at the University of Miami was the first women's basketball player inducted into Miami's Athletic Hall of Fame great great basketball player high arcing shot and there is Aaliyah Boston for South Carolina coming up with the defensive board Henderson ahead Victoria Saxton boy she is long and lean and Victoria Saxton will go back to the line where she nailed both free throws her first time, 6'2 junior from Rome, Georgia. 57% free throw shooter a year ago, averaging nearly five and a half points per ball game. Gamecocks are doing a really good job getting the ball out quick and pushing the tempo. Um, College of Charleston is getting one shot, and, and Aaliyah Boston's down there getting a rebound um, every single time, kicking it up to Destiny. Destiny's getting and kicking the pace up really quick for the Gamecocks. Rattles out of there. Tyler Gray whistled for the foul. One for two this trip is Saxton. South Carolina blanking Charleston right now, seven to nothing. There's a takeaway by the Gamecocks. It's Bree Bill. Bill left to right on the dribble, spins in the lane, puts one up and banks it in. Nicely done by Bree Bill. Such a great move, Birch right there by the sophomore Bria Bill. Sure basketball can keep, you know, going this year. Well, the right thing is drinking whatever they're giving you from <laughs> section whatever that is with love and that's coming from that cup. 
that Don Staley was sipping on there. Nine to nothing, South Carolina, 7-13 to play here in the first. College of Charleston still looking for their first field goal. They're 0 for 7 from the floor and getting out rebounded by South Carolina, 5 to 1 right now. South Carolina's doing a really good job in their 1-3-1 one, one zone. Uh, what you don't see um, Don Staley and the Gamecocks do much is just start off the game in zone, but right now they're starting off in a 1-3-1 one, one zone and it's being really difficult for College of Charleston to um, rebound out of, and, and they're only getting one shot attempt, is, which is not really good right now because they're undersized. Cross-court pass to Zaya Cook from Destiny Henderson. Cook misses, but there's Victoria Saxton following it up with Saxton's misses, Boston getting the board, but it's out of bounds to the Cougars. And you see Henderson harassing the Cougars there on the inbounds pass. And she's guarding the junior Tyler Collins out of Atlanta in Woodward Academy. The Cougars just have to settle in and just get the jitters out. And they're, you know, everybody's just their first game in such a long time. I think the Cougars just have to do a better job at running their offense. Another takeaway, South Carolina, and flying to the hoop is Zaya Cook misses that lay-in opportunity, and the Cougars will come away with a loose ball. Down nine to nothing midway through the first. Two player fouls for College for Charleston, none for South Carolina. It's another turnover. South Carolina comes up with the possession. Cook driving in, and she will draw contact. Looks like number 15, Aaron Eady, the junior from St. Francis School in Atlanta, Georgia, led the conference, the CAA, a season ago in rebounding with 9.7 per game. And she has been picked as a preseason second team all-conference player. Gamecocks are doing a really good job at just attacking the basket, not settling for jump shots, and they got a lot of fouls right now drawn on the College of Charleston players. The College of Charleston has to make sure they don't get in too many foul trouble, too much foul trouble, excuse me. Zaya Cook is good with the free throw. South Carolina leads by double digits now 10 to nothing. 6-13 to play here in the first from the Colonial Life Arena, South Carolina and Charleston opening the season. The Gamecocks 19 and two in season openers under Don Staley. They won their last nine in a row to open things. They've also won their last nine meetings with the Cougars. The last time Charleston won against South Carolina, you have to go all the way back to 1991. Wow. Gamecocks shooting three of six from the field. Charleston 0 for 9. Saxton passes across the court. Destiny Henderson. Henderson gives it up to Cook to Boston. Boston mid-range misses that shot, but there's Victoria Saxton with a stick back. Victoria Saxton. She's so underrated for the Gamecocks. She's very explosive. She can jump really high. She finishes well around the basket, and she's a really high motor um, for the Gamecocks. Between the legs goes Tyler Collins. Collins averaging a dozen points a season ago in her sophomore season. Still looking for their first bucket to drop. Charleston comes up with a big offensive rebound. And nice move there by Collins. Can't find the handle, and it's South Carolina basketball leading 12 to nothing. Zaya Cook, little floater, gathers her miss, and the second effort is good, and she draws the contact as well. Zaya Cook is tough as nails. She's very strong and athletic. She's not going to give up on the play, um, and she's very, she's a really, really big competitor. Um, I love her game. Madison Taylor, the junior, will head off the court. She'll take a seat near Robin Harmony, the second-year head coach. Gamecocks will make some switches as well. Bree Bill comes off, so does Aaliyah Boston. And Zion Cook completes the three-point play. South Carolina ahead now 14 to nothing. And Zion Cook will join Boston and Bill on the bench. Two fouls now for Madison Taylor, the junior. She heads off for College for Charleston. There's Lily Grissett. On for the Gamecocks, Lele number 24, the 6'2 senior, the only senior on the squad for Don Staley this year. Also, Elisa Wesselak out of Charleston, the junior, on the floor. She went five out, Birch. 
She subbed all five players out. Letitia Ame here and Destiny Littleton, who sat out a season ago for NCAA transfer rules as she transferred from Texas and took that time to have major surgery to fix lingering ankle problems. I think she's going to be a really big um, addition to um, this Gamecock team. She brings a, a vet kind of spirit. She can shoot the ball. Um, she's a really good competitor. Um, so I think she's going to be a really good add-on um, for, for the Gamecocks. Lily Grissett drops it in. Grissett can play just about any position Dawn Staley wants her to. She can go guard, forward, big forward, small. She plays one through five. Exactly. And she really has progressed her game every year since arriving as a true freshman when she at times looked a little out of place. Right. Seventeen to nothing. South Carolina ahead. Three fifty-five to play here in the first. Still looking for their first bucket as College of Charleston. Ofer from the floor. The launch a three. Missing there and coming up with the loose ball is South Carolina and Destiny Littleton. Littleton out of San Diego, California, 5'9 junior. She was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school. That was a great play, great defensive play. She got in position um, and took a great charge and transition there on Destiny Littleton. So Destiny out of control there in the offensive player foul. Good job defensively by number 23, Tyler Collins, the junior for College of Charleston, trailing 17 to nothing to the number one ranked Gamecocks of South Carolina on a 26 game winning streak. There's Taylor Williams, number two, 5'9 sophomore out of Daytona Beach, Florida. She was named to the all rookie team a season ago in the Colonial Athletic. Chance for Charleston to Light up the scoreboard for the first time today. A miss there, however. Charleston, you know, they are getting better each year. Um, they have a really big recruiting class coming in next year. They have three big kids that the coach is really excited about that's ranked in the top 250 in the country. So um, they're a re rebuilding program, and I think she's going to do a really good job. It's only her second year, and they're already getting better, and they're just going to get better each year. South Carolina had those super freshmen a season ago, just one this year, and she is on the floor. Number two, Anaya Russell, 6'1", from Baltimore, Maryland. Littleton, scoop shot not there, and Lily Grissett. Easy bucket for Lily Grissett. Gamecocks ahead 19-1 to now, 2.57 to play here in the opening period. Gamecocks are out rebounding the Cougars about by seven rebounds right now. Um, that has to do with the height as well. Um, Gamecocks are just a just a bigger team than the Cougars. The Cougars have to do a better job at rebounding the ball on both ends of the floor. See the numbers: South Carolina 14 boards compared to Charleston's eight, leading by 18 points with 2:42 to play here in the first. Second year head coach Robin Harmony. She is going to recruit the state of Texas to try to build her base to get things going. She's already started and has picked up three really, really good players out of this year's class. Signing day in November. She's really, really happy about what she is what she has done coming out of the Lone Star State where she really built a great program at Lamar before taking the job in Charleston. Letitia Amahir. Amahir with the follow-up there on the missed free throw for South Carolina. They lead 22 to one now. And Myra Williams. The Camecocks are doing a really good job at limiting the Cougars to one shot and pushing the ball and pushing the tempo. 
Wave that attempt off there. It's it was contact made before. It's Anaya Russell, 6'1 freshman. She can really shoot the deep ball, too. Really good player. Um, I spoke with Coach Staley yesterday. She was really impressed with um, how good she is coming off a of ball screen. Says she's one of the best making decisions coming off a of ball screen, is knowing exactly where the ball is supposed to be. So I'm really excited to see uh, what she's going to do for Don Staley and the Gamecocks this season. This is the free throw. She was fouled by Taylor Williams. First foul on Williams, the sophomore from Daytona Beach, Florida. A great freshman season, averaging nine points a year ago. 23 to one, Gamecocks over the Cougars. Tyler Collins in traffic. It's bailed out as she makes a nice pass there to Edie. And Edie draws contact. Edie's one of the leaders uh, on this Cougars basketball team. I spoke with her yesterday. She just spoke about um, having six freshmen and her being an underclassman last year to now she's an um, upperclassman, and she's just trying to be more vocal be and lead by example to her freshmen. So um, keep an eye on her tonight. That's two made free throws by her. 55% free throw shooter a year ago was Edie. Looks good there on both of those shots. She was found by Elisa Weselek for South Carolina, who's from Charleston, played at Northwood Academy. And Don Staley was really, really high on Elisa Weselek coming in to this season and this ball game. Just yesterday telling the media that Weselek looks good. She has really practiced well. She has done everything asked of her in the offseason and that it's up to the coaching staff really to find a spot for, for Weselek. And they really, you know, it's not Weselek that's putting her out of out of playing time. It's the coaches, she says. <laughs> Edie with the foul is Emma here at the line for South Carolina. Extends that lead now 24 to three. South Carolina just so deep. They were very deep last season, but of course lost Ty Harris and Kiki Herbert Harrigan to graduation. Boy, they are just deep again this year. Yes, they are. They're, Coach Staley just, I've never seen her um, do five in, a five in, five out sub, and she just did that today. So that's letting you know right now the number one team in the country is a very deep basketball team, and she's trusting um, each player um, early on in the basketball games. Russell Lake with a big defensive board for South Carolina. 24-5 is your score. South Carolina here in the first with a minute 12 remaining. And Khadijah, here is that basket from the College of Charleston. I think that was a really great take, and I think that's what they have to do more, get in the meat of South Carolina defense and attack them just as the same way as South Carolina is attacking them. I think the Cougars have to do the same thing on the other end. Foul whistled on Anika McGarrity, the 6'1 freshman, one of those Texans out of San Antonio. She played it. Smithson Valley High School. Lee Grissett at the line for Carolina. Grissett, an outstanding free throw shooter. 73% was Lee last year. A minute 10 remaining here in the first. It's the number one ranked Gamecocks of South Carolina opening the season, leading 26 to five over the Cougars of Charleston. Just inside the three point line Beautiful. is Tyler Collins. Beautiful shot by Tyler Collins. She's one of the. She's going to be the player that she's probably going to play 40 minutes. Um, she led the team last year in minutes, and I'm sure she's going to play a lot of minutes here today versus the Gamecocks. Shot 34 percent from the floor last season, scoring 12 points per game. Three point try for South Carolina and the freshman Anaya Russell with the miss. And South Carolina underneath. There's Lee League reset boy. Lily Grissett looking good early, coming off the bench for South Carolina. She's going to be one of those players, uh, Birch, that you're going to have to keep an eye out for uh, this year with the Gamecocks. She's going to be a really big um, part of the team, and, and she can do it all. She's kind of like a seagull. She's a poacher. She's, you know, she's always in, in the right place at the right time, and you know, if you leave her a cracker, she's going to, she's going to take it. Right. She's very aggressive. Twenty-eight to seven. 
18 seconds left here in the first, and McGarity quickly now with two fouls coming off the bench for Charleston. Destiny Littleton at the line. Junior good with that shot. Makes both. So McGarity will leave the floor. She came off the bench, the Texan, and quickly picked up two fouls. So Robin Harmony is going to escort her off. So we go under 15 seconds here in the first. The Gamecocks ahead by 23. Gamecocks come out to harass Collins. Collins breaks through, misses the lay-in opportunity. And South Carolina will hold it as time expires here in the first with the number one ranked game. Five minutes, Lee Lee Grissett. Three for three from the floor is Lee Lee. And Lee Lee Grissett and South Carolina rolling right now by 23 over the visitors from Charleston and the CAA, Colonial Athletic Association, where they finished Charleston did last season with six wins, 12 losses. Overall, 13 wins in the opening season for Robin Harmony as the head coach. Longtime assistant at her alma mater, Miami, before taking a head coaching job at Lamar in Texas, where she was really on fire there. And accepted the position head coach at College of Charleston already shown her prowess in recruiting the Lone Star State. And she's hoping she can really build a base there. What a move there a move for there. South Carolina and Zaya Cook out of Toledo, Ohio, 5'9 sophomore, on a lot of watch lists this season, along with, of course, Aaliyah Boston. Also, Bree Bill on a couple of lists as well. Yeah, I mean, when you have a, you know, the number one freshman class of last year, you're going to have – um, a bunch of them on a lot of watch lists for a lot of people. Um, all three are very good competitors. Um, they're going to compete every single game. Um, they don't really care about, you know, the stats and the individual praise. Um, I spoke with both uh, Aaliyah Boston and Zia Cook yesterday, and they both just both spoke about they just want to win. They're focused on the season. They're focused on making sure everybody's doing the right thing, and they just want to win. They want to get back to that national championship. 34-9 Gamecocks as we look again. Zaya Cook spinning in the lane. Boy, she is just so athletic and crafty. Very, very talented is Zaya Cook. Great shot there by Taylor Williams. Big shoes to fill for South Carolina in that guard position. You know, you had Ty Harris four years as a Gamecock, one of the best guards in history for South Carolina. I mean, coming in as a freshman, um, winning the national championship, going into UConn, having zero turnovers. I mean, it's just things that I will never forget about Ty Harris, how she runs the basketball team um, is, 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 is great. Almost a full court shot to end a period last season. Around this time of year, it was the holiday season. It was closer to Christmas time when she dropped one underneath the chimney. Against South Dakota, Team South Carolina will see shortly as they will make the trip up to South Dakota to play in a tournament. Following this matchup here with Charleston. Third foul. Whistle there on Madison Taylor. It's a great handoff assist there by Leah Boston just not being she was in the wrong spot, but Zaya Cook was in the right spot and still got that three off. I'll take that foul away from Madison Taylor, actually, and give it to Shy Blanding, her first, number one. She just hands it off to her in the corner, Birch. I don't think Aaliyah Boston was in the right spot in that play, but I know Zaya Cook was, and she was ready to shoot that ball. 37-11, Gamecocks. Victoria Saxton down low. There's Bree Bill, turn around, drops it in easily, and picks up the foul as well. 
I mean, that's where her big guard skills come in, guard post up. That play right there was just designed for her to go and post up a small guard because she's 6'1", very strong, and can finish around the basket. Great call there by Coach Staley. So Peel at the line for South Carolina. Chelsea Wooten whistled for the foul, her first. Bill misses there, but South Carolina comes away with a rebound. I mean, Victoria Saxton. They're getting just about every rebound um, there is, Birch. I think the Cougars have to go into halftime and regroup and really focus on coming out and limiting South Carolina's um, rebounding. Rebounding margin Second right now is 23 to 9. On Taylor Williams. Two fouls for, for Taylor, the sophomore. Gamecock basketball leading 39 11. We go underneath eight minutes to play here in the half. Victoria Saxton. Great pass there by Zaya Cook to Victoria Saxton. South Carolina starting to establish their position down low now. Definite size advantage for the Gamecocks in this rotation on the floor with Saxton and Boston, the original starting five on the floor for Don Staley's Gamecocks. Zaya Cook, Destiny Henderson, Leah Boston, Bree Bill, and Victoria Saxton. It's a really good lineup. Saxton whistled for a foul. The Gamecocks trying to go for a turnover. Boston slaps it away into the hands of Destiny Henderson. Henderson one-on-one -on -one, trying to pass back. Unselfish play there by Henderson, which probably should have just taken it herself, trying to go backwards to Bree Bill on a trailer. Right, I think, I'm think i thinking she's thinking her players are right, right behind her, and it's actually um, Charleston running right behind her. It's going to be hard to see Coach Staley facial expressions this year on the sideline with those masks on. And hard for her to eat her candy. Her, <laughs> her hard candy treats that she is so fond of during games. Boston with a rebound for South Carolina, leading by 30. Good ball movement for the Gamecocks. Cook to Beal. Beal will wait on another pass. Boston spots it up and drains it. I mean, just great ball movement. Just started off with Aaliyah giving an outlet pass to Destiny. Destiny finding Zaya. Zaya finding Bria and then going right back to Beal running the floor. Great, great basketball. 43 Gamecocks. I mean, all over Charleston right now. Starting from an 0-2 start with the crafty move in the corner to a great dish there to Victoria Saxton to this handoff three-point basket made um, in the corner. Um, Zaya Cook, and she's starting to get it going, and she's one of the dangerous ones you have to watch out for um, when it comes to that scoring, Birch. 43-11, to 11, South Carolina with the lead over the Cougars. Zaya Cook with nine points on three of five shooting. Two for three is Zaya from the free throw line. Just two points and four boards right now for Aaliyah Boston. She just picked up her first basket just moments ago. South Carolina with a 9-0 run right now. It's Cougars basketball. One thing I like about Aaliyah Boston, like you said, Bert, she only has two points, and that just came recently, but she just lets the game come to her. She doesn't force anything. Um, she's such a big, big, big player, but she doesn't force anything, let the game come to her, and she normally ends the game with a double-double, a very quiet one, but she's just a, such a great player and a team player. And a great leader as well. As She was just a sophomore and voted as one of the team captains, her and Victoria Saxton, second year for Saxton, being named one of the team captains. Um, both of those young ladies are, you know, they will brighten up your day if you talk to them. If you know them individually, um, they both are really great um, uh, players and uh, people. And there was Boston out near the timeline causing that errant pass into the hands of Destiny Henderson for South Carolina. Here's Boston down low working hard. Um, just watch how Victoria Saxon runs the floor, seals the uh, defensive player so Destiny Henderson can come and make a layup. Destiny Henderson is one of the fastest guards with the ball in transition in the country. All SEC tournament team back in March was Destiny Henderson. In 
Anderson passes over to Zaya Cook. Now Bree Bill just inside the three-point line. Rattles out. Saxton going for the rebound, but it's into the hands of the Cougars of Charleston and Tyler Collins. Collins, nice skip oh, pass wow. ahead. And there's Boston for the rebound for South Carolina on the miss by the Cougars. It was such a great pass. I mean, I don't think that pass could be any better than that. That was a great pass by Tyler Collins. Just couldn't finish the basket. Collins, that was a great pass. Averaging two and a half assists a season ago. 32 steals. She had a good even stat line. All the way across did Collins is a sophomore out of Atlanta a season ago. 214 career assists coming into this season. And just two seasons of work. That's just a great stat to have as a point guard um, in that assist category. 45-11 Gamecocks. Cougars with the basketball. 5-12 to play here in the opening half. Boston is there for the rebound. Errant pass by the Gamecocks gets away from Saya Cook. She was looking for her teammate there, Bree Bill. And you see there the big girl is just screaming, get it back. She sees that Zaya's um, down from that turnover, and she's just there being the captain, being a leader, encouraging her teammates. Her debut a season ago, a triple double. Double digit points, rebounds, and blocked shots. What a way to debut last season for the freshman then. What a move wow. by Zaya Cook. I'm afraid we're going to see a so lot crazy. more of those <laughs> plays from Zaya Cook this season. I mean, she's just going to keep the defense guessing. She can pass. She can score from all three levels, Birch. Um, that's that's a good, good trait to have as a basketball player, being able to score from all three levels and being able to pass. Zaya Cook has the whole package. And she's only a sophomore. Take a look here. She gathers the steal, takes it away. Zion Cook turns the defense, turns him again, back, and finishes off the same leg. Changes direction. And she knows it was cool. As <laughs> Lily Grissett away from the ball, whistled for the foul. Cougars with possession. It's only Boston's first foul and third team foul in the half. Tisha Emma here on the floor for South Carolina along with Destiny Littleton, Lily Brissett, Boston and Zaya Cook remain on the floor. The two of the five original starters. So Three-man switch here for Dawn Staley and the Gamecocks as they lead 47-13 now with just under four to play. That was a great um, rebound and finish by Naya Covington on the other end for the Cougars. Naya Covington, the sophomore from Richmond, Virginia. Average three and a half points coming off the bench last season in her freshman year. Three and a half rebounds per game as well. Boston takes the entry pass and smoothly drops it in on the jumper. She has Four points nice now for Boston. Touch. She has such a nice, nice touch around the basket. Birch is a really good jump shot. I would like to see her shoot more jump shots this season. That's what I want to see her add to her basketball game this season is more jump shots. She can shoot the ball. She just doesn't shoot the ball during the game time. Hit two three-pointers a season ago oh, in 12 wow. attempts. Nice ball movement again for South Carolina. And Lily Grissett is in double figures scoring coming off the bench. She's got 11. What a pass by Zaya Cook to Lily Grissett to finish that play. They did how they did because of what they brought to the team. Two personal fouls now on Edie, Aaron Edie. Preseason second team all-conference player and the leading rebounder in the conference in the CAA last season. Picked up a couple of fouls here in the first half for the College of Charleston. South Carolina basketball, they'll pull the trigger here on the inbounds with Lily Grissett. 
She'll go to Zaya Cook. Cook launches a three in and out. There's Boston, big rebound. Backs in, finds the space and finds the box and drops it in off the glass, off the square. Six quick points now for Boston. And didn't I tell you, Bert, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna just let the game come to her. She's gonna end this game with a double-double. She already has six points and eight rebounds. And, you know, you're just noticing her. 53-13, Gamecocks, three-pointer. Too short there from Taylor Williams. South Carolina basketball. Littleton passes over to Zaya Cook, top of your screen, Cook. Works in one on two. Let's take another look at Aaliyah Boston, sophomore, preseason, All-American. Good things come to those who wait, don't it? Just look how patient she is when she catches the ball, Birch, knowing what's around her. She's so patient and so calm when she's in the paint. Covington whistled on the foul. Naya Covington, the sophomore, coming off the bench for Charleston as Zaya Cook drops it in. One shot. Cook, a 71% free throw shooter as a freshman last year. Played in every game as a freshman, did Zaya. Really, really big competitor. Almost like a, a carbon copy of Ty Harris coming out of high school. Yes, yes, I agree. Good sportsmanship there by Leah Boston and the Gamecocks helping Edie off the deck. Gamecocks ahead 55-13, 2 11 to play here in the second. Two fouls now on Lily Grissett. Grissett in double figure scoring for the Gamecocks. Set 11 points on four of four shooting from the floor, three of four from the free throw line, four rebounds. Throw in an assist as well. She's been very solid today here for the Gamecocks. Pulls the string on the second shot. It's Tyler Collins. Anaya Russell, the lone freshman. After Don Staley brought in a huge freshman class that was much heralded and ballyhooed a season ago. There'll be another much heralded and ballyhooed freshman class that's a lot bigger than the one that she brought in with Anaya Russell coming in next season. Again, another number one ranked recruiting class for Don Staley. I mean, Coach Staley has just built this program from the bottom up. You just have to respect what she's done here in Columbia, South Carolina, bringing so much talent in, in to here to South Carolina. And, and the players trusting her to come here and build this program. It takes that. It takes people trusting the program, trusting her coaching staff, and taking this program to the next level. And if you've seen where she started and where she is now, you know that it's a process and you have to trust it. And everyone in Columbia believes everyone in South Carolina that follows South Carolina women's basketball. What a following it is. Leading the country year in and year out in attendance figures. And she said after that win, that historic win here in Columbia last season against UConn, it was for the culture and what a culture she has built here in her tenure in South Carolina. Destiny Henderson, her first foul. And what I love about her most is that she loves the fans. She gives everything to the fans. She wants the fans to be there. She wants the fans to be there for every step of the way, and she gives all the credit to the fans. So just watching the fan base from when she first started to where it's at now, I mean, she has people watching basketball never that, that never watched basketball before um, to support from what she's done here at South Carolina. 57-16, Gamecocks. Olivia Thompson just checked in, one of the, uh, probably the best three-point shooter on the Gamecocks basketball team. Don Staley saying she really needs Olivia's shot too. She says, you know, we're so deep and we have to play everybody. 
We're going to see a lot more timeouts probably this year and a lot more substitutions, she feels like, sometimes. Everybody played last year, too, and everybody, when they got their minutes, they got their points, too. Right. <laughs> I mean, Olivia used to come in and shoot two threes in 30 seconds and make them, and the crowd would go crazy. Every player returning from a season ago at one point in time during the year had double-digit ball games. Two fouls now on Aaliyah Boston. She is talented at tying knots, too. <laughs> Free throw is good there for Tyler Gray, the 5'8 freshman out of Bladensburg, Maryland. Robin Harmony, the second year head coach for Charleston, really high on Tyler Gray's game. She got I the start to open the season here against the number one ranked Gamecocks. That says a lot right there. Second foul on Gray. Two shots here for Anaya Russell. Freshman found herself back to the line, seeing baskets go through. She looks really comfortable out there with those girls. Good looking free throw shooter there, Anaya Russell, the freshman. Russell with five points now, all coming from the free throw line, five of six. From the line, long distance three, dialing it up and banging it in. Charleston, Chelsea Wooten, the freshman from McKinney, Texas, hitting that one from the Alamo. And that was deep, Bert. They need a little bit more of those. McKinney North High School. One of four Texans on this roster, all brought to Charleston by Robin Harmony in her two years. Great three. Movement. Great find, great shot. 61-18 now. Letitia Emma here. She's a really, really um, great basketball player. She's one that most don't talk about a lot, but she can score at all three levels. She has to do a little bit better job with scoring in, in her mid-range, but she's great for the Gamecock. She can shoot the ball. She can dribble. Um, she's a really, really big guard, um, in my opinion. She's a big guard, and she can play the post player. Edie whistled for her third foul, Aaron Edie. So that could be costly for Charleston. And, you know, people forget Letitia Amma here. She came to South Carolina, graduated high school early. She had, you know, some injury problems. And then she had to miss a few games here in Columbia in her freshman season because she had to go back to Canada to help Team Canada qualify for the Summer Olympics. That good of a player. Yeah, she's really good. She's very strong. Um, she's very smart. Really good, really good player. Emma here and Littleton up top for South Carolina as they go beneath 10 seconds before halftime. Oh, wow. Leah Boston caught for her third foul right before halftime. 5.5 seconds left. Yeah, that's three fouls now on Aaliyah Boston. Don Staley does not seem nervous whatsoever. Missing that shot at the line. Taylor Williams, the sophomore. Shot 61% from the stripe as a freshman last year. Misses two. So Charleston unable to capitalize there. The clock stops. But three fouls on Aaliyah Boston and 
Don Staley wants to call a timeout before we go to halftime. 64-18 Gamecocks. So Boston actually with two fouls as they whistled that last on Anaya Russell. So now Aaliyah Boston can breathe a little easier going into the locker room with just a pair of fouls as opposed to three. And I think that's why she was so calm on the, on the sideline, Birch. I think she knew that Boston had two fouls instead of three. Forty-two point Gamecock lead. Looking to run that winning streak now to twenty-seven. Wow, great Olivia pass. Thompson, great pass there. Oh, wow. Unable to handle it is Leticia Emma here. South Carolina will have another chance with 0.6 seconds left as Charleston threw it away. And time expires after one half of play here in the Colonial Life Arena in Columbia, South Carolina. It's all Gamecocks. They lead 62 to 20. They're, they're covering that number one team in the country. South Carolina start the second half the way they started this ball game with Zaya Cook, Destiny Henderson, Aaliyah Boston, Bree Bill, and Victoria Saxton, your starting five. Tyler Gray, Tyler Collins, Aaron Eady, Taylor Williams, and Madison Taylor, the starting five to get the second half underway. They were the starting five to get this ball game underway for Second year head coach Robin Harmony and the Cougars of Charleston. Cougars moving left to right now on your screen. Pull up jumper there, nice by Taylor Williams, the sophomore. So Charleston scoring early here in the half. They needed eight and a half minutes in the ball game to start to get their first bucket, but not so here in the second half. Victoria Saxon the, do a, does a really good job there with just finishing um, the basket. Well, she didn't finish the basket. She did a good job at offensive rebounding and getting her rebounding and, and trying to get uh, another basket. Edie, she has four personal fouls. That's not a good sign for College of Charleston. Edie is their only um, big man, post player. So they're going to have to make some decisions here early on in the second half. Led Charleston's conference, the CAA, last season in rebounding with 9.7 boards per game. Four fouls for Edie. She had three in the first half and picking up her fourth here very early to open the second half here in the third quarter. Cougars down 64-22 to the Gamecocks. It's Cougars basketball. First personal foul whistle to believe on Bree Bill there. So checking in for Edie is Zoe McCrary. McCrary, 6'2 freshman from Allen, Texas, in Allen High School. One of four Texans on the roster. Big three there for Zaya Cook. Zaya Cook launching it from downtown. She's got 16 points now to lead all scorers. Um, she's a really great three-point shooter. She ended the season of last last season with 36% from three-point land. And she told me last they, she told me yesterday when we were speaking that she wanted to shoot 40% from three-point land, and that's what she's so far she's doing so good um, this evening uh, shooting the three ball. And a good open look, able to get square. Dropping it in. Zaya Cook, big three-pointer for South Carolina. And there's Boston with another rebound for the Gamecocks, but in and out of the hands of Zaya Cook in transition. Back to Tyler Collins and the Cougars. And Victoria Saxton is there for South Carolina to get it right back for the Gamecocks. Weaving her way through traffic as Zaya Cook kicks it out. Wanting the three is Beal missing the opportunity. And 
Look at the follow-up there for South Carolina down low. Victoria Saxon just does a really good job at being in the right places at the right time and just putting the ball back on the basket. She's going to um, be one of those players that you have to box out at all times when scouting. Another opportunity for the Gamecocks here from defense to offense, and that's just too easy. Too easy for rebuilding. I mean, either you have you have to stop the ball. Uh, the Cougars have to do a better job at stopping South Carolina in transition. South Carolina's been getting a lot of transition um, points. Good little move there by Taylor Williams. She's been a bright spot. An otherwise dreary day for the Cougars. An easy finger roll there for Zaya Cook. Zaya Cook. 18 points for the Gamecocks now. Um, she's just getting it going. She's just, she's she's filled the game out. Um, she sees, she's picking and popping on her shots. She's figuring out how to score on this Cougars basketball team. And there, right there, she's doing a really good job at um, being a help side defender. And what a crafty pass there in transition to Bria Bill. I mean, Zaya Cook is a player to watch. Very, very fun player to watch. 18 points. It's been amazing from the floor. Six of nine shooting and four of five from the free throw line and a couple of assists as well. And that last one was a thing of beauty. Yeah, she's two for two for three from three-point land. I mean, she can go. I mean, if you know her, she wants to score the basketball. She wants to get up and down the floor, and she wants to win. She's a competitor. She's going to do what it takes on both ends of the basketball to win. South Carolina with three players in double-digit scoring. Zaya Cook with 18, then Victoria Saxton with a quiet 13, and Lily Grissett off the bench with 11. I mean, Locked shot there, number five for Victoria Saxton. I mean, three rebounds back-to-back, -back, four rebounds, five rebounds, the Gamecocks has to be boxed out. The Cougars have to do a better job of getting the Gamecocks off the board. That's five offensive rebounds and one possessions there, Birch. Three of them by Bree Bill. So it's Boston going to the line for Carolina. First trip to the line for Aaliyah. And first foul for Zoe McCrary, who checked that Lexi Maddox. We just checked into the ball game. Maddox, the 6'1 senior from Athens, Georgia. Winder Barrow High School. Gamecocks dropped back into a zone um, here early, Birch, in the third quarter. Taylor Williams bottled up, so she kicks it back to Tyler Gray. Now, right wing three for Charleston, no good. And it's Destiny Henderson and the Gamecocks coming away with a loose ball off that miss. Short on the floater, but there's Boston. I mean, Boston with 10 rebounds now. She just does such a great job of keeping the ball high, make sure nobody, no one gets the ball, no guards can get their hand on the ball. Aaliyah just does a great job of keeping the ball high and putting it right back on the glass. South Carolina out-rebounding Charleston by 30. Boston able to tap it over to Zaya Cook, and here come the Gamecocks in transition. Cook. Going for the little floater there, and Victoria Saxton fighting for it. She'll draw contact. You got Aaliyah Boston um, right here with the offensive rebound, just grabbing the ball, keeping it high, making sure she's keeping it out of the little guards um, way. Right now she has nine points and ten rebounds, working her way um, to a quiet double-double. Can't open the season every year with a triple-double, can you? <laughs> I'm not sure she can do that, but right now she's on pace to get that double-double. 
She had a ton of those last year as a freshman. 78-22 Gamecocks now with 5.01 to play here in the third. Cruising over the Cougars of Charleston right now. Going high is Saxton. Now here's Beal one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, what a great defensive uh, play there by Taylor Williams. Getting back in transition and making that big block on the 6-1. Cox Destiny Henderson. Um, you know, South Carolina has been ranked number one before. We know that. But they have never been ranked number one preseason to start the season. So that's pretty impressive. Coach Daly said um, it's pretty cool. She doesn't really worry about rankings too much, but she thought that was pretty cool to be ranked number one um, in the beginning and saying that she's made her program a rich program. And I agree with her. Gamecocks keep it alive there. Go under. Set to go under 10 on the shot clock. But stoppage is whistle and foul. Gamecocks, beautiful job there on that inbounds, getting it low to Victoria Saxton. And Saxton making it easy there. And Saxton with 15 points now for the Gamecocks. I mean, she just does a great job. It's just nothing you can really do once she gets the ball in the paint. She's so athletic. Once she gets it, she can jump. There's not too many people that can just block her jump shot because she's just so athletic. Aria Saxton, a quiet double-double now. 15 points, 12 rebounds, second double-double of Victoria's career. In only 15 minutes, Birch. And you've seen her dunk the basketball before. Yes, yes, she can dunk the basketball. Charleston foul. Destiny Henderson at the line for Carolina. Henderson last year shooting 65% from the strike. Right now the Gamecocks aren't shooting the ball too well in the second half from the free throw line. Destiny does her job there, extends that lead now 81-22. Scrapping for it, Zaya Cook and Aaron Eady. And Eady has to be careful. You know, she has four fouls, Eady does. We've still got 350 to play in the third. The Cougars have to do a better job at attacking South Carolina's zone defense, getting into the gaps, finding the open shooters so they can get some of those three-point sh um, shots off so they can get the game a little closer. Good rebound right there by Taylor Williams for the putback. Just one three-point goal today for Charleston. One of 13 from the floor for Three-point land are the Cougars. Meanwhile, South Carolina, they've hit two. They've been very selective, though. Two of seven from three-point land. Oh, wow. Nice fake handoff there by Aaliyah Boston to Zaya Cook. Instead, she takes it herself for a jump, short jump shot. There she goes with her 14th career double-double. Didn't I tell you she was going to get a birch? A quiet double-double. She just lets the game come to her. Nice spin move there after the interception and laying it in, Destiny Henderson in South Carolina. Their defense is just smothering. 
I mean, the backcourt of South Carolina is very dangerous. You have Zaya Cook on one side and Destiny Henderson on the other side. They're both electrifying guards with that basketball. Take us through this, Khadija. Just watch her in the passing lane. She comes, she sees the defender, keeps the defender on her hip, and she finishes with a high float. I mean, she's just so athletic. Did you see how high she was on that finish? Her and, her and Zaya Cook are two athletic, scrappy guards that, you know, they're going to cause a lot of havoc for teams in the backcourt. Henderson picking up the foul. So two now on Destiny Henderson is... Zaya Cook and Boston come out. Aaliyah Boston and Lily Grissett checks in. She's in double digits as far as scoring goes. Lily Grissett, the only senior on this squad. Great, great pass. That's a great point guard set up there by Destiny Henderson. Attack the paint real hard, kick it back. Find your freshman shooter in the corner. Good job there by Destiny Henderson. First three-pointer of her career, Anaya Russell, and Don Staley says there should be many more where that comes from because one reason why she went after Russell is because of her deep ball threat. She can really shoot it from downtown. Yeah, she can get it going. Just watch how Destiny Henderson gets the defender to come to her to kick it out to her three-point shooter in the corner. Great basketball there by South Carolina. Smooth looking shot there by the freshman from Baltimore, Maryland, 6'1", Anaya Russell, 88-26 Gamecocks. Oh. Great block there by Lily Grissett. Set with a handful of block shots now. I think the Cougars are doing a really good job of trying to get the ball inside, but South Carolina link and shot blocking ability are, are really causing them some trouble down there. 17 points now for Victoria Saxton as South Carolina goes 10 away from 100. And we've still got a minute and a half thereabouts remaining here in the third quarter. Great save there by Lili Grissett to save the turnover. Emma here, nice pass. Working it to... Victoria Saxton, and Saxton now with 19 points. And this is a big day for Victoria Saxton. I think she's doing a really good job. She did nothing spectacular. All she did was get offensive rebounds, Birch, and put the ball back in the basket. I mean, she's so dangerous. People sleep on them, and we talk about Aaliyah Boston, the Zaya Cooks, the Destiny Henderson, and the Bria Bills, but you can't leave Victoria Saxton out of the conversation. She does all the right things for the Gamecocks. So Destiny Henderson drawing contact. 92-26 Carolina with under a minute to play in the third quarter. Khadija, South Carolina doesn't look like they have missed a beat from where they left things a season ago, do they? No, they, they, they sure, sure don't. Speaking to the players yesterday, they just spoke about how frustrating it was to end a season like that last year and how excited they were, they were to get on the court today. And clearly, um, they're showing that today. Time falls below a minute now here in the third quarter. Great block there by Lili Grissett. Great one-hand pass up there to the freshman for two. It's a great game for that fr for the freshman here today. Under 15 seconds to play here in the third. Dropping it in over Weselek. Cougars. 
Tyler Collins. Anderson kicks it out. Here's the freshman, Anaya Russell. Pull up jumper, and time expires. As the third quarter comes to a close, put four fingers in the air. We're heading to the final stanza here in Columbia where it's been all Gamecocks from the word go. Great block there by Lili Grissett. Left hand pass up to the freshman, Russell, to the finish. Gamecocks up, 96-28, heading into the fourth. In this ball game, tying a career high. 12 rebounds, that is a career high. And five block shots as well for Victoria Saxton. Gamecocks with two players with double doubles right now. And Bert, she did nothing special, just being in the right spot at the right time, going after the offensive rebounds, keeping the ball high and putting the ball back on the glass and making free throws, simple. Tisha Emma here for South Carolina. Emma here with six points. Destiny Littleton. But they're going to whistle that foul on Taylor Williams, sophomore from Daytona Beach, Florida, for the Cougars of Charleston. That's her fourth. So she and Aaron Eady with four fouls each. There's Lili Grissett again, there with the offensive rebound at, in the right place at the right time and finishes well under the basket. She has 13 points tonight in 12 minutes. And eight rebounds. And so eight Lili rebounds. getting close to a double-double. Looking to join Victoria Saxton. In that category for Carolina and oh, wow. Leah Boston. Great recovery block there from Leticia. Emma here, strong underneath. And I believe that's Edie's fifth foul. I believe that foul there was on Edie. That is her fifth, so Aaron Edie is disqualified. Fouling out with 8.26 to play in this ball game. I mean, it's pretty hard to go down there and, and battle South Carolina um, post players. Being one of the only post players on your basketball team and, and, and having to guard Aaliyah Boston, Lily Brissett, Victoria Sexton, and Emma here, I mean, it's just it's just a lot. It's a lot. Letitia Emma here at the line misses the front end. It's good on the back. One away from 100 points on the Gamecocks. Last time they scored 100 was back in February when they did that against Florida in SEC play. That was February 27th. for the Gamecocks. They'll have Thanksgiving off, and then it's off to South Dakota for the women's Bad Boy Mowers crossover classic. We've got South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Gonzaga in that field. It's going to be a really good tournament. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm sure 
the Gamecocks are very excited um, to go and play South Dakota, Oklahoma, and Gonzaga um, in the upcoming tournament. Boy, and then you, you've got NC State, then at Iowa State, and then Temple. South Carolina, that's what makes you, you better, I think, Khadijah, and Don Staley knows that is in, in the offseason, out of conference scheduling, rather, if you play the best, it makes you the best. Yes, you have to have a competitive um, preseason schedule um, just to set it up because the SEC is so tough, so tough. Every night in the SEC is tough. And if you're in the SEC, if you ever played it or seen it, um, that's a tough conference to play. So you have to make sure your preseason schedule um, prepares you for the SEC season. Three personal fouls on Lisa Wessel right now. You see the national championship cup there. Someone got Coach Daly. And right here, did you see Lily Grissett? Like you said early on in the show, uh, Bird, she can play all five positions. Right now, Coach Daly has her in playing the point guard position um, right now. So Lily Grissett can do it all, one through five. Known as the jokester on the team as well. Four fouls now for freshman Tyler Gray for Charleston. So Gray in foul trouble with four. <laughs> Madison Taylor also with four fouls for the Cougars. So already fouling out is Aaron Eady. Charleston can ill afford to lose another. And that just comes from South Carolina also just being aggressive. They 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 were aggressive from the tip off Birch. They were getting the ball out in transition, getting points in the paint. They knew they, they were the bigger team, so they knew where they were getting most of their points at today inside of the paint. 100 points now as Letitia Emma here sends it north of that. She's good on both free throws. 101 to 31. Gamecocks rolling. Another rebound for Lily Grissett. Great take there by the freshman. Being patient in transition, finishing at the rim. She has 10 points on her debut game. So another Gamecock in double figure scoring. Cook, Henderson, Boston, Saxton, Grissett, and now Russell. And Lily Grissett is one rebound away from becoming the third Gamecock to have a double double today. Such a great find there by Russell. Wesselet getting in on the scoring action. So now every Gamecock on the roster, with the exception of one, has scored today. Gamecock's doing a really good job moving the ball, finding the open um, player, and just finding the best shot on the floor. One hundred five points for the Gamecocks. Let's take a look. Lily Brissett, nice. Bounce pass ahead to the freshman. Nice Euro inside hand finish there by the freshman. And then a good pass underneath there by the freshman as well. Melissa Wesselek scoring her first points of the season. And Lily Brissett now with her second double double of her career and three Gamecocks now with double-doubles here today. The last time three players for South Carolina went double-double, you've got to go back to, back in your old days there, Khadijah. You've oh, got to wow. go with Ashley Bruner, Alicia Welch, and Elam Ibium oh, against wow. Kansas. Oh, man, I was a part of that. I seen it. Oh, there she goes, Birch. She so every just got Gamecock off the bench. Is scored now. I mean, she wasn't even in the game five seconds, Birch, and she just a catch and shoot um, player. That's what she brings to this 
um, basketball team to catch and shoot without a thinking. All-time leading scorer at Lexington High School, just around the corner. Veselet climbs the ladder and gets the rebound. Six minutes remaining in this ball game, and every Gamecock is in the box score today for scoring. Gamecocks is doing a really good job at just finding everybody, making sure everybody gets um, a little piece of what's going on here today. 110 to 31, the freshman just showing her ability right now, what she's going to bring to this basketball team in the final minutes in this fourth quarter. 12 points now for Russell. Six Gamecocks in double-figure scoring. Cook, Henderson, Boston, Saxton, Russell, and Grissett. Three in double-figure rebounded. Boston, Saxton, and Grissett. Another block. I mean, that is your post player going coast to coast, finishing at the basket on top of a defender. I mean, she just can do it all. I think she's just, she's a post player, but she can, you know, has, she has guard skills. Littleton loses the handle. It's over to Charleston now. 112-31 Gamecocks. Great finish right there. Slow down the pace now. Five on the shot clock. Littleton straight away. Trying to keep it alive is Amma here. But it's Letitia Amma here initiating contact and she's whistled for the foul. A little fun on the court and a little fun away from it. <laughs> Lee Grissett and Aaliyah Boston, best two personalities on the basketball team. There you see Olivia Thompson there for three right off the bench. Come out ready to go. They came out, you know, pretty much how they, 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 they ended the season on fire. Started with, you know, Zaya Cook running the show with Destiny Henderson. Post players doing a good job of just rebounding the ball, running the floor, and, and putting the ball back on the basket, Birch. And South Carolina has not gotten anyone in foul trouble. Meanwhile, Charleston, their best player, Aaron Eady, fouled out a lot earlier here in the second half. And they've got a couple with four fouls already now. And the head coach just talked about, you know, just being able to um, come into South Carolina. And it's an honor to play um, Coach Don Staley in the game. Cox is helping them as well as, uh, you know, adding this game. It, this game was added on late. And they were just glad to be able to come in and, and, and compete against the number one team in the country today. I think anyone who's playing is just happy to be playing right now. And Olivia Thompson, five points for the sophomore from Lexington, South Carolina. You know what happened to her in the offseason? She earned herself a scholarship. What a surprise yes, that was. I mean, the work she put in in the offseason um, clearly was great because she came back and she showed Coach Staley what she, she's gotten better with, and Coach Staley gave her a scholarship. So I know that's a great feeling for Olivia Thompson, um, paying for school one year and then next year um, you get a scholarship. And to see the joy on her teammates' faces as well when that was announced. Oh, man. They were so happy for her. One shot. So at the line for the Cougars, senior Lexi Maddox. Beats the defense, draws the contact. It's really good post to post screen there. Yeah. 
Seven players for Carolina in double-digit scoring, including Leticia Amahir. Amahir with 11 points, looking to add to that total from the free throw line. Two more rebounds. She'll have a double-double. This is both. Wesselek unable to get the loose ball off the miss. Coming up on three minutes to play. Gamecocks in control. 114-36. In and out on the three attempt and into the hands of Emma here for Carolina. She's one rebound away from a double-double. Tisha Emma here. Ontario, Canada. So she could possibly be the fourth Gamecock today with a double-double. That's very impressive to start the season. You have four players um, almost in double, getting a double-double. That's pretty impressive. It's never happened in the Dawn Staley era. Take away Gamecocks. Littleton. Bangs in hard. Colliding with Amira Williams, a 5'11 freshman. Just a tag. So two shots for Destiny Littleton. You know, she's really been waiting for this day. Littleton set out last season after transferring from Texas, took the opportunity to have big time surgery on her ankles. Has to feel good for a player just being back out there, um, playing after having surgery and having to not be able to walk for a, such a long period of time. What's the takeaway from for Dawn Staley today? I mean, she just sees that her team is, is still ready to go. She's there. Her starting, she has about starting six, in my opinion, with Lily Grissett coming off the bench, being so electrifying as she is. Um, she still sees that she has, you know, scoring from all all different angles. Um, her team is, is, is so focused right now. She's just so focused on um, just winning and, and taking one game at a time. So Coach Staley just has to um, see right now who's going to handle, you know, the ball in, in crunch time when close games are, 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 are going, in, going on and things in that manner. But today she's going to take away a lot of scoring. Her team can get up and down on the floor. Here's Littleton. She's earning the trip to the athletic trainer's office today, isn't she? I mean, she's just banging it up right now. <laughs> she's back at the line, makes that shot. Tyler Gray, so the Cougars with two players getting disqualified. Aaron Eady the first, and now freshman Tyler Gray. Great kickback. There's that rebound that, well, no, that was an air ball, so it doesn't go for Leticia. That would have been They do give it the rebound to Leticia Emma here. So four players with a double-double now. First career double-double for Leticia Emma here. Well, that looked to be an air ball, but must have clipped 
So four, the four players, players in yeah. a double double. <laughs> in double with double doubles, points and rebounds. And that's the first in the Don Staley area, maybe first in maybe program history. Yeah, I believe so. She's definitely going to, Coach Staley, when you ask me about the takeaway, she's definitely going to look in the free throw category um, lane. They're 31 from 46 right now, 67% from the line. Long distance three, well off the mark. Littleton pushes it ahead Back to Olivia Thompson. Now Wesselak. Great take there by Destiny Littleton. So the win streak for South Carolina will move on to 27 games now. And Don Staley will go to 20 and two in season openers. Emma here, whistle for a travel there. So an impressive performance for South Carolina all the way around from start to finish. Four players with double-doubles today. Every player scoring points. And the number one ranked game packs of South Carolina will extend that win streak now to 27 games as they take care easily of the Cougars of College of Charleston. Most points scored in a Don Staley era game. Well, that was 111 against Savannah State back in 2014. Now 119 is the new total. As they dispatch the Cougars easily, 119 to 38. Khadijah, four players with double-doubles. Very impressive win here for the number one team in the country.